Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing that. Don't mind this. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing the trend of mixing all your foundations together. I figured since last video was a tutorial, I would do a fun little trend video this time. And I'll also link last video down below. It is a Valentine's tutorial. And even though it's after Valentine's Day, you can still wear that look. The only thing I have on my face right now is some primer and a little bit of color correction and concealer on the chin. I have nine foundations that I'm going to be mixing together. Here they all are. And we're just going to get started. I have this little Tupperware thing that I'm going to squirt everything out onto. So first, I don't, I guess I'll start with drugstores. I have the L'Oreal Paris Magic Liquid 2 Powder Foundation. I did a video on this bad boy. I'll link that down below too. Oh! Oh my gosh. That literally just came out like water and freaking splattered all over the place. You guys see that? Oh my gosh okay i guess i gotta shake that one that was a fail within the first two seconds it's rain and foundation hallelujah it's rain and foundation yeah yeah came out a little better so i'm just like basically pouring this out as if it's like pump size so that's like one pump it looks like and we have this random elf foundation it's not really labeled as to what foundation it is. I love the packaging. I didn't like the foundation though. I used this in a full face first impressions. Here I have the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour wear for combination in oily skin. And this foundation I actually haven't tried yet. Ooh, okay. I have no idea what this color is gonna be like. All right, now I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I haven't used this in so long, since fall. Now I am using the Laura Mercier Soft Glow Luminous Foundation. This is my favorite like light coverage foundation. Now I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation, and this is full coverage. Now I'm using the Ultra Wear Foundation by Lancome. This is also full coverage. I love this foundation. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. Now I gotta find something to mix all this up with. Probably just the end of one of these brushes over here. All right, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna use the end of this brush and mix all that up. I'll show you guys the process of mixing. Oh, I forgot one. I forgot a foundation. Uh, the Kiko Milano foundation. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm going to take a little bit of that and mix that in. Beauty Blender is dampened and I'm going to take that and put it on the back of my hand here. And I'm just going to go in. Okay. That doesn't look that bad. The consistency isn't horrible. The way it's drying. For mixing nine different foundations that are like so different together. And it actually looks like it's coming out a lot different on the skin than like this little swatch I have on my hand right here. I mean, at least in the mirror. Wow, the coverage on my nose isn't bad. Getting those little creases. The coverage is actually really good doing this. And the videos that I did watch of everyone doing this, they had the same outcome. Like the coverage wasn't, the coverage was pretty good. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. See how some concealer and stuff works. Um... I'm gonna use two different concealers just to just just for you know some giggles and I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer and I'll use this under one eye 
Um, I'm gonna use the Rainforest of the Sea concealer that I always use. And I'm gonna use this on the right side. This concealer is not very full coverage, but it's really hydrating and that's what I like for underneath my eyes. So if like, if I'm gonna use a light coverage foundation, I'm not gonna use this because I need coverage. But if I'm using a full coverage foundation, I'll use this to hydrate the skin. My skin gets pretty dry with full coverage foundations. All right guys, so final evaluation in the mirror actually doesn't look that bad does not look orange looks like everything blended nice doesn't really look like everything's falling into fine lines you know what i didn't do i didn't just i just forgot to set my under eye with powder who forgets to set their under eye oh my gosh okay so now in camera definitely look orange i don't think it looks as orange from when i first started noticing it oxidize it's just a fun video who knows if it was going to work or not who knew if i'd be able to wear this combination all the time but i will not be wearing this combination it's just the colors didn't mix very well here is the final look i hope you have enjoyed this little fun video of mixing all my foundations that were here in front of me. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. If you haven't already, I will link all my other social media down there as well. I will link last video down there as well, and I will see everyone next video. Thank you for watching.